Okay, so I should have done this video a long time ago because this is kind of old news, but I'm going to give my thoughts on BOTDF, aka Blood on the Dance Floor, breaking up. So, BOTDF's broken up, Jay left BOTDF. It's pretty much over. Davi is doing a solo career called Sinners or Winners, and he's doing a final BOTDF tour. I'm not even gonna front with you guys. I'm not gonna lie to anybody. If anybody out there thinks that I don't like BOTF, I'm I'm just gonna come out and be honest. I like BOTF's music. I enjoy their music. I really really do. The music's a lot of fun. I know some of their earlier music has kind of stupid lyrics, but a lot of their newer music has better lyrics. But overall, their music is fun. I just enjoy the music honestly. So my thoughts on them breaking up. It really sucks honestly because you know they were only around for 10 years um to, no not 10 years i got that fucked up they were only around for like six or seven years they were around for 2010 to 2016 that's not really a long time and you know it really sucks they broke up and i really don't understand why they broke up because you know if jay does a solo career i'm sure he'll get some views and subs but he just won't ever be as popular unless he was still in botdf so I don't really understand why he left BOTDF. Um, I do feel like it's more of a personal thing, to be honest. Like I think there's more meaning behind this because let's really break this down. If you look at what Jay posted, all he said was, I am no longer a part of BOTDF. He thanks the fans, but he's moving on. That's all he said. Being in six years with the same guy, he's been in this group six years with... Dobby Vanity, and when he announces leaving, he doesn't say anything about him. I just find that odd. And they're doing, there's supposed to be a final BOTDF tour, and Jay isn't attending it. That's weird to me. There's supposed to be a final BOTDF song, and Jay's not in it. That's weird to me, too. So I feel like Jay left because maybe he doesn't like Dobby. Maybe there's some bad connection with them, too. Dobby said there isn't, but I feel like there is, damn it. Because it just doesn't make sense to me he would leave this group. This group is popular. He's the most popular in it. And, you know, to me, it's too early for them to break up. Because, you know, they're still young. And they only did, a they only did like, pff, how many albums did they do together? Like around four or five or six. And honestly, I haven't really listened to Scissors that much. But that album isn't really an album I think is worthy of ending with a big bang, so to say. So... I think it sucks that BOTDF split up, honestly, because we're, we're no longer going to get music with them, too. Even though I haven't really enjoyed anything by BOTDF after Bad Blood, I still think it sucks they broke up. Now, what I mean I haven't enjoyed is, well, um, some of their stuff after Bad Blood I didn't enjoy. Some of their stuff in Bitchcraft I did enjoy. I did enjoy a song off, uh, uh, what, was, what was the album? Uh, sexual Pornography or something like that. I reviewed it. I only liked one song off that, but other than that, I haven't really enjoyed their music after Bad Blood. But it still sucks because that's it. You know, there's gonna be no more albums, no more songs. So it it really is a shame that they broke up. You know, it, that's all. I, that's all I really gotta say. My thoughts on BOTDF breaking up. It sucks they broke up. You know, they're no they're no longer gonna make music together. But I guess the only thing to look forward to is that for BOTDF fans, just support them both. I guess Jay's solo career, Davi's solo career, which. I don't understand Dobby's solo career. He's basically going by a new name called Sinners or Winners. Don't understand it. Don't really understand it simply because he already had a solo career called Master of Death. Now he's changing it again. Doesn't make sense to me. And he's changing his name to Dobby Insanity, which I don't get that either. And I don't really understand why he don't continue as BOTDF. I know Jay was in there, and maybe it would be weird if he continued without Jay. But if you really look at it, the original Blood on the Dance Floor. From the beginning, when it first started, it was always just Davi by himself. Jay was a member that joined later on, but he was a big part of this band, so I can kind of see why he didn't want to do it anymore, but still, this whole thing it seems a little odd to me that Jay would leave BOTDF. I think it's more of a personal thing, to be honest. I think maybe Jay has doesn't like Davi. Maybe, he, maybe the accusations are true about Davi, and he thinks that he is a pedophile or whatever the case may be. I just don't think it's something as simple as, oh, you know, I want to move on and do new things and try new things. I just don't think it is. Because Jay hasn't really spoke on it that much. He hasn't even mentioned Davi when he said he's leaving BOTDF. He's not even attending 
the final BOTDF tour. So this whole thing is weird to me, but my thoughts is it sucks they broke up. We're no longer going to get any more music, but I guess just to continue to listen to the awesome music they made. And like I said, I do enjoy their music. So for anybody who thought I didn't like them or whatever, I do enjoy their music. Despite the accusations of Davi and all that stuff, I try to set aside them as a people from the music, to be honest with you. So that's what you should do. Always set aside the people with the music, if that made sense what I just said. But that's my thoughts. I think it really sucks they broke up. We're no longer going to get any more music or albums from them. I guess that's what it is.